Welcome back to Let's Play Magna Carta 2. Last time we went through the uh, ruins there, got did some assistant mission, mi missions, and we went through the thieves hideout, cleared that out, and learned more about the Trewa, got him from that thing for the Vizen's diary and all that. That was very uh, random. <laughs> uh, anyways, we're heading in one of this mission here, the getting our dragon pauldron. And the Shuriken Styles, continuous five attacks. Awesome. And we are done with the side quests here, which means we can move on and do the other side quests we have already picked up. We're done with the new side quests here. So this time around, we got to head out to the Lenora Lake to take out uh, the uh, monster that's hiding there. Anyways, first of all, I'm going to do a quick swap out of equipment here, and I'm not sure which one of the two is going to get a level first. Crocelle or Celestine? Probably Crocelle. So let's throw a pendant of skill on him, and, uh... Yeah, okay. Rune also needs to lose her Seeker. Uh, ooh, it's just a kick-ass thing there. Yeah, stamina and defense plus. Cool. That's actually kind of kick-ass. Sweet. I think I'm going to throw that on to... Yeah, let's throw it on Zephy. Why not? She's already got two environment con in this region, so... Nah, it's whatever. Oh, got to throw it on to... Crocelle's weapon. Right, 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 right. Oh, he already has one. Right, I was predicting that. Uh, Celestine needs it then. Okay... And I think I shall throw this on to, um... Let's throw the clover on to Rue. Because I don't want to... I'm trying to keep... I'm trying to stagger the level ups a bit so I can actually get, like, the, uh... The Seekers and the equipment onto it. And I'm afraid if I throw it on Argo, it's going to line him up with Judo. And if I'm afraid I'm going to throw it on Judo, it's going to uh, not let... It's going to line up with Celestine. So, uh, yeah. Actually, that will never happen. <laughs> what am I thinking? She, he, she's already passed Judo. Um, I should just throw it onto Judo. Right. Yeah, that, that, that was kind of silly of me. What am I thinking? Just throw it onto Judo. Stormbringer. Oh, he has actually he can actually equip two things. Cool. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I think he's the only part I think he's the only team member I have that can actually equip two accessories, like uh, two non-element ill accessories. That's kind of cool. Not including the DLC weapons cuz they all the slots on those are actually non-elemental, so I can throw whatever the hell I, I want into them. Anyways, looks like we have a little bit of a gauntlet leading up to the lake area here. With some werebores and a colossus up ahead. Leading up to the boss fight ahead. Um, Celestine, just kill. Okay. I just went to overheat with two party members. Yay! Okay, let's keep moving. Ooh, it's green. Green and swampy. I'm gonna freeze you. I'm gonna eat you. Oh, I did a five. Dang. Ice arrow. Rue. Kill, please. Oh, no, 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 no. I missed the skill. I missed the skill. Okay, let's keep moving. Oh, there's two more on the bridge. No. You guys are weak. Weak! Just die! Slash spin. Celestine! Okay, let's start doing skin. And there we go! Skills! Yay, chain break. Oh, you're still alive? There you go. Thank you for dying. Oh, there's a Colossus too! Ah, oh, man! Ah! Oh. Come on, you're using a bow! You're supposed to be like high accuracy. Long range fighter, not. Oh crap, the claws is heading this way. Uh, Zephy, since Rue doesn't have any stamina to build up. And I should probably heal Rue. Yoink. Okay, Rue, let's see if we can get some. Oh, 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 come on, get closer. Aw, oh, damn it. Oh crap. Oh, missed. Good, good, good. 
Missed it while in overheat. That's good. Well, missed it while I couldn't move. Oh damn it! I didn't push the skill button. Why the hell did I not push the skill button? Rue, please just get an instant kill on this thing. You got plenty last episode. Damn it! I have to use it. What the? I'm out of range of it apparently. Damn it! I keep screwing up the chains. Ah! Okay, let's keep moving. Whoa, that kind of looks kick-ass. Uh, okay, um... Chriselle's gonna gain a level. Celestine's gonna gain a level. Uh, Chriselle does have the, uh, skill point thing on, right? Chris Celestine might gain a level from this, because this guy actually gives out a lot of experience points. He's a mini-boss, so... Yep. Okay, let's see here. Oh, Swampy the Eel. How you are swamp-like. Anyways, this guy's just like the angler who come up out of the water. You just have to go up and attack him. Uh, he is heavily poison-typed. So uh, any rings of detoxification might be very handy here. Oh, crap. Oh, jeez. Everyone's poisoned. Everybody is poisoned. Oh, my God. Zephy's going to have to work overtime on this one. Why does she not have anything on her? She now has a ring of detoxification. And I'm going to take that off, and I'm going to put the ring of defense on her, and I'm going to take this off, and I'm going to put the ring of... Oh, she has a necklace of power. Who has the other belts of experience? She has it, okay. I'm gonna take the belt of experience off you. And let's throw that on you. And I'm gonna put the belt of experience on you. There we go. Okay, Zephy, your entire mission here is just to get rid of yeah, wounds. Starting with Rue almost being dead and medicine on yourself and then uh, on Celestine oh, missed. Okay. we're good we're still good oh this guy's actually dying pretty quickly oh she he's using some super skill thing he's able to, apparently able to breathe fire which is apparently poisonous uh, crap she's over she's in overheats that is not cool uh, okay, Rue. And you, Celestine. Heal Celestine! Thank you. Heal Celestine! Heal Celestine! Okay, now where are you popping up this time, you jerk? It's not showing up on the radar like the, like the angler did. Freeze! Well, this guy's actually dying really quickly. Like, really quickly. Level up. Oh no, cool! It was only Cel it was only Crosell. That's good. Man, it's amazing what a little grinding will do for your battle power. Anyways, before we go and head back to the entire village and do everything that we're supposed to do to hand this mission back in. There is a mission set that starts here. It is Zephy's long-term mission set, which I had already discussed, and I missed this completely. I didn't do this mission set until after I had beaten the game. Yeah. Go up to here with Zephy. And you do that, and oh my god, a person appeared! And you can talk to him. Royal Spirit. You are the one who summoned us. You are indeed the royal bloodline. The time of the trial has come. Are you prepared to undergo the trial? Show us your strength. Get the marks of royalty. First, go towards the wa water altar. The water folk will show you the path to the water altar. Yep, that is the start of a very long-term quest for Zephy. Yes. And I, yeah, I didn't, that, there was no indication that that mission was ever there. I completely skipped it. I did not do that till the very end, and I walked right through it, because it, 
I'm, I'm at like level, what, 40s? I'm in the 40s right now and I'm high level for this area. So you'd be like level 38, 39 in this area. And uh, I was walking through that place with like level 60, level 70. Yeah, those missions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although just like all the other long-term missions, you can't do them until, you can't finish them until late in the game, so. Yeah. Anyways, we are going to head back to the uh, Dune and Rest area. I could cut, but it'd be kind of pointless because there's it's, the rest area is just right here. But yeah, we got several little side missions that just started. Like we got a long-term mission starting now. That's kind of insane. Anyways, you have to talk to the uh, lady here, I believe. Yes. You killed the monster. That's amazing. That's the Southern Forces for you. I'm glad to hear. Th uh, thank you for your help. Uh, now travelers can, who come to Lenora Lake will see the sights and with nothing to fear. We got a hawk's eye and a silence of defense. Silence defense command. Yay. And I forgot to switch the goddamn. <laughs> That's a frick. That's. Wait, she had the seeker on at least, right? I'm pretty sure she had a seeker on. The seeker. Oh no, wait. Did I throw it on? Okay, good. She had it. Okay. Whoo! Okay. Oh, okay. Anyways, I'm gonna just uh, do some rearrangement of equipment. So just one second. Alrighty, we may have changed scenery a little bit. Yeah, we are back in uh, Kodamare to continue on with the side quest we just picked up for Zephy. Because uh, we can actually do the first step of it right now, right here in Kodamare. Or yeah, yeah, okay, the first step really isn't go to Mari, but we have to go out into the blue the blue marsh pretty soon. Anyways, we just have to go talk to Kate in here, and we can start the side quest off with some information about what it entails. Let's go. You would face the royal trial, then. The path of the water altar is currently closed. King uh, Fasith, the first... Fasith? Whatever. The first king of Lonsheim left a trial for his descendants to ascend the throne. He believed a king who was uh, was given a legitimacy through the recognition of all races, not just humans. An unqualified king would mean, uh, uh, make unbiased decisions which would lead to conflict. This king would cause the uh, world's destruction through bloodshed, as Human and Karta had once fought. Uh, to prevent this, he built royal altars in each region, and one must be tested at them to become king. Your task is to be accepted by the races that guard the altars, and to be tested by the ancient spirit. The path is blocked by a barrier to prevent access to until one is judged worthy to be king. Get the marks of royalty is done. Level ups. Oh, level ups. And we get a new mission. Uh, you are a legitimate uh, descendant of the royal family of the King of Lanza, Kingdom of Lanza. My judgment is that your character is of sufficient worth to proceed to the water, water, water altar. Take this jewel to the watered altar. I believe it will dispel the barrier. However, mark my, these well these words. You will have merely been granted the right to go to the water altar. Take this jewel and go to the water altar. It should dispel the barrier. Okay, that apparently we're supposed to take this jewel to the water altar. At the water altar, you will undergo. You will meet the water spirit and undergo the trial to be king, or queen in this case. Uh, yeah. So we need to go to the water altar apparently, and use a jewel to get through a barrier. <laughs> uh, just a second. I'm gonna switch up weapon uh, the equipment. Just a sec. The scenery just keeps changing on us for some reason. Anyways, the water altar is actually up here by the Refuge of Darkness. We are up in the northern part of Navy Blue Marsh now. And just to the right of the dot, you can see there's a little offshoot. That is where the altar is. There was a barrier. You can see it right there. The barrier is right there. And, uh, hi, guys. Uh, can I just go... Thank you. Thank you very much. And, uh, yeah. Ow! No, you jerk! And now I have fever. That's just wonderful. I can't back... Ah! Uh, fever. It's go away, take please. a bit longer. Anyways, yes, there is the water altar. Apparently that jewel really did work. Cool. And we just talked to the water altar, and a spirit appears. Water spirits, I have awaited you, Rinsfilda Grinna Berlinette. Uh, if you have come here, it means that the Mari have judged you worthy. Now I shall conduct the first trial. That's nice. Right, there they are. Okay, yeah, so the first trial is defeating spirits. I can't back down. Spirit Thieves. Essence of Water. They're level 40, so they're actually kind of tough here. Be careful, is what I'm telling you. 
And uh, these aren't the only two. There's gonna be more. I think you have to fight a total of six. If I remember correctly. They come in waves, though. It's, I think they already come in two at a time. Oh, there's the, there's actually two more coming right now. Oh, I, I wasn't paying attention. I was paying attention to the background. Ah, uh, okay, gotta... Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, there we go. Perfect. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam. Bam. Bam, bam. bam. And uh, I'm betting two more are already on their way as well. I'm going to quickly use a skill here. And holy crap, I'm actually getting low health. I better switch out and use an item. These guys are actually taking a little bit of damage on putting a little bit of damage on me. Ah, oh, cure leaf will be good for now. Or maybe not. Let's take out this water es essence of water and then. Oh boy, yeah, this will... Okay, these guys are actually kind of annoying. They got a lot of attack power. Or maybe I just lack the defense. Uh, Zephy, okay. Uh, no, 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 crap. No, 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 I'm not paying attention. I am not paying attention. I gotta do this better. Okay, cure flower. No, you can't. <laughs> if you can, just do it. Oh, I lost a con! Ah! I had to! I saw the attack pop up, allowing me to use it. Why didn't it let me? Why do I have five con now? And why am I- ah! Damn the stupid targeting! Seriously! If I switch a part to a party member, have them target like the closest person to them, like that! And Ice Arrow, that's nice. And I'm going to quickly use a yeah, one of them on Zephy. And because she's being double teamed right now, we should be. Oh crap! Damn it! God! Ah! God damn it! Oh crap! Dodge, dodge. Whoa, they actually have skills? And okay, Zephy's disappeared, so I can use a crystal. I know, not a crystal. Uh, revive capsule. There we go. Now she's back up. And don't attack it, don't attack it. We're at a calm impasse right now. There we go. Okay, now we back up slightly. No, you don't. Wow, I'm not doing any damage to these people. Because they're probably water, and I'm using a water attack on them. Okay, Root. Come on. Thank you. Yes, you are the one that kicks ass because you've got the lightning element. And if Pokemon has taught me anything, it's that electricity kills water quite easily. Um, healing wind. Excellent. Rue, since you are the kick-ass person here. And you should be dead. And dead. Whew! Okay! That was a bit more of a trial than I thought it would be. I thought it would be a little bit easier than that. Uh, one of the, the one who would be king possesses a might that is sufficient to resolve any kind of chaos or conflict. However, the greater the battle, the greater the care one must take not to brandish it easily. Um, use the appropriate, uh, use appropriately might enables obedience, but if used in excess, it leaves one isolated. One who would be king must govern the country while always following the path of moderation. Mark of water. And we talked to this person, and we just, yeah, we deemed you worthy. Even if you have, we have deemed you worthy, it does not mean that you have, your situation has improved. Uh, in Jandaria Cavern Canyon, no, in the place now called Old Fox Canyon, there exists the Fire Altar. Pay heed to the warmth of the spirit enshrined there. Yeah, so yeah, we gotta go to the Fire Altar, go see you for yourself. Yay! And we get the scroll of Potosi. Apatatatupidi? Yes, cool. So we got the first mark of royalty. Woot. So, uh, next time we are going to be heading back into the Ruhalt Basin towards uh, the next, and we're going, yeah, we're going to continue on to the Ruhalt Basin, and we're going to continue on in the story. See you guys then.